So we got some Captain America Civil War promo art and some official art and also some behind the scene images, some images of Bucky and Cap, some Falcon and Cap standing next to Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther. So, Jake, you looked at these images. What, which one of these stands out to you? Um, I mean, I think the obvious standout is the Team Iron Man shot. Oh, yeah. You kind of get to analyze it. You see a, a beautiful close-up of Black Panther in that awesome-looking suit. Um, but the one image that I can't get enough of is uh, Anthony Mackie, Chris Evans, and Chadwick Boseman standing next yeah. to each other. Uh, Sam Wilson, Steve Rogers, and T'Challa. And the reason why is because leading up to this point, we've all kind of been led on to believe that at some point in the movie, Tony Stark finds Black Panther for this team up, you know, brings him on his side, tells him what's going on, and that uh, Black Panther's kind of almost been hunting down Winter Soldier because of past events, maybe. But we've seen in trailers that shot in the trailer is. Steve Rogers and, and Sam Wilson's suits being taken away. Now, here's the thing. If they're together, the three of them, could Black Panther be on the new Avengers already? Wow, that's very interesting. Could he be in the very opening scene on the new Avengers, working with them, and then all this stuff goes down? That's what I'm led on to believe after seeing this photo. Like, he could already be on the team. That would make sense. Because we saw this in the in the trailer that looks like they're getting their suits taken yeah. away. So why is he standing next to them? Exactly. He looks very upset exactly. about something. But then again, we see him chasing Bucky. And so where does that fall in? You know, and with Cap chasing him, it's really well. We know that the new Avengers that Bucky is not part of them. Like yeah, oh, that's true. a side job with so Sam maybe, Wilson and Chris yeah, Evans. That's or, true. So, so maybe he's keeping it secret, and that would make sense. And then maybe Black Panther finds out that Cap has been and hiding then the, him. And then the superhero sides they shift, and Black Panther ends up on Iron Man's side. Yeah, like I'm led to believe that sense. from the opening scene in the movie, that's when we'll get our first glimpse. Yeah, I totally agree. That that is the picture that stands out the most to me. There's some there's some other cool ones. You know, you got one of the Rooster Brothers talking to Cap. You got Cap standing there with his shield. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the standout. And as far as some of the promo art goes, the Scarlet Witch stuff is I great. I was just gonna say, dude, I'm so excited. She was the standout to me in Age of Ultron. Like, yeah, she's her character awesome. Elizabeth Olsen is a great actress. So I'm I'm totally looking forward to this. It, it looks freaking amazing. Any other pictures stand out to you from this? No, I mean, I think that all the promo with Scarlet Witch, we've obviously, the stuff with the, the teams fighting, um, seeing Cap and Iron Man kind of go head to head. There's stuff all over, line, all over online. Um, it seems like Marvel's kind of now uh, opening the vault of Captain America Civil War. Because they've kind of been keeping it a little quiet lately with uh, as far as footage and photos and stuff. And we're starting to get more and more. Um, I just hope they don't give too much away. Because I think it, with it being their biggest film, um, they, they should keep more stuff quiet. Uh, but it's all great. Everything, it just gets me so excited seeing yeah, this, this I, film come to life. It's like... I feel like it's two years away, but it's yeah. only like two months away. Yeah, it's just, it's I cannot believe it's, that it's we're be getting so exciting. Batman v Superman and Civil War. And the think same about, year. we've, this is, we're now eight years into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and we're still this excited about these movies. Oh, yeah. It's like, that, it's just a testament to what Marvel has done and the directors have done. And, you know, all the credit in the world to Kevin Feige and the Russo brothers and just everybody involved. It's great. Yeah, you could say this about pretty much every Marvel movie, but. Civil War really has the potential to not only be the best Marvel movie of all time, but Superhero the best movie. comic book superhero movie of all time. It really does have that potential. 